Hey guys, what's up? Guess what we're doing? We're going camping in him. Stay tuned. Welcome back. This is going to be a great weekend. I wanted to show you guys a quick update on Kong and we're calling him affectionately the machine is the gladiator's new name so this will be the first time i've been out with him in this full build capacity and i'm excited we're going to the valley vidal in new mexico and i've been wanting to do it forever here we go This was actually the first herd we saw. I mean, and I, I don't know if you guys can catch the gravity of it, but there was probably over 50 or 60 elk. It was incredible. And they were watching us the whole time. This was literally two minutes into the park and they said it had the largest herd. Well, there it is. So unfortunately the road we were traveling on was the old route and it terminates into a large ranch down that road, not much further than where we were with the elk. So he kindly turned us around and told us we just needed to go eight miles to the west and we would be at the new entrance to the Valle Vidal. Stick around. I don't know if you guys saw it, but oh my gosh, I had to stop and replay it over and over again. That was a huge brown bear and it was amazing to see. I couldn't believe it to be honest. It was absolutely huge. It was so amazing to see.
honestly, I'm still at this part of the trip, still amazed that I actually just saw my first live bear in person. Just so you guys know, now you see these gates, I'm now actually crossing into the Via Vidal. I haven't seen much information on it, but just so you know, from the highway physically to that gate for the opening of the Via Vidal, it's literally probably 15 miles, so be prepared. And also remember that if you're in inclement weather, these roads are all dirt and mud, and there are some serious uh, grades to them. Um, just know that you know, obviously, it's 15 miles in, and then you just get there, and then you've still got a long way through the Viola Doll. So, so don't get discouraged if you've been driving and you don't think you're there yet. Remember, it's about 15 miles, guys. You're starting to see little patches of snow now. This entire area is about 100,000 acres or more uh, that was actually purchased by the Pennzoil Company and then donated basically to the public. Now they, they still oversee it and watch it and stuff. There's lots of maintenance that goes on with it because it's still part of the National Forest. But the place is incredible and, and they actually set up two campgrounds and they work out really well. There's a lot of horseback riding that goes on this area. And along with, like, I want to say guided, ticketed hunts where people are allotted a tag or something, kind of like Colorado, to go and do some hunting just to cool the herd. But it was probably everything that I ever anticipated and more because as you see us coming into it now, the vastness starts becoming more relevant. And we're kind of on the smaller side. What I noticed after I watched some of these videos in the editing process is today is more kind of like the build up and, and you'll see from the next video that comes out tomorrow morning we don't venture more than a couple miles and, and it just opens up into these huge grasslands uh, and what I would believe more to, to be exactly what they're calling the valley of life just beautiful guys it's definitely played up to what I wanted to see
campsite, I didn't really feel like um, breaking all the cooking utensils. So since the Forest Service and Pennzoil was so courteous to have these uh, pre-set up fire rings with the grill set at our campsite, why not, right? So we're reheating some uh, ham and turkey from Thanksgiving and then some stuffing and some yams. So yeah, I think it's gonna be nice. I think it's gonna turn out real good. And that's what I was telling you guys about cooking minimalistly, if that's a word. But that'll do it just like that. No expensive, you know, camp chef type stove. All those things are nice. But again, things can be done uh, without that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you next time.